but there is one other powerful spiritual item that he gave me that when I started using it that was a change change start happening in my life was the precious commodity the, he gave me the precious commodity which is the cross and I choose to hang it in my faith bracelet. as soon as I start using the precious commodity and the anointed water I started seeing change in my life first the nightmare ceased I stopped seeing the spiritual wife I stopped seeing the wet dreams the feedbacks ceased rejection ceased disappointment ceased instantly they were all just cutting off of one after the other I started seeing changes in my life one of the blessings unmerited blessings that I received after he has prayed for me was me giving almost hundred thousand dollars to add up for my business there is two forms that we requested one for two hundred thousand dollars and the second one is for hundred thousand dollars Fidelis Mwafo and I'm here to share my testimony with you what the Lord has done for me through his able servant prophet Paul David I remember meeting him for the first time and he uh, offered to pray with me through the zoom call he prayed uh, for me and gave me words of prophecies which I confirmed to be true in my life but before I share those testimonies with you viewers I would love to uh, sing a song that is always in my heart, uh, that is always in my mouth. And that song is just to appreciate God for what He has done for me, for everything that He has always done for me. Thank you, Jesus. And that song is Jesus, you have done so much for me that I cannot tell you. Jesus na gwomo ya mo isike ndule angona ndu wane oto ni ocean divider lion of judah ancient of days na rana rau na rekeni na ruti to what shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Nara, nara, o, nare kene, naru, ti, to, mo. Thank you, Jesus. So, viewers, my testimony goes like this. When I made the man of God, he offered to pray with me through the Zoom call. He prayed for me, and he also gave me wells of prophecies, which I confirmed to be true in my life. And one of the prophecies that he gave me was, I usually see a lady that would appear in my dream with a familiar faces, such as people that I know, and I confirm that to be true. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Yes, sir. I want God to deliver me because... Um, because I'm seeing a lady coming to your dream to have a affair with you in the past. That's true. That's true. How did you know? How, that's true, man of God. He also went further, telling me that I also experience weird dreams. And each time I have those weird dreams, I would experience setbacks, disappointments, rejections, near cess syndromes, I mean, name it all. And I also confirmed that to be true. 
And then he told me also about my past lives that I lived and tell me to stay away from life of immorality such as, as fornication, masturbating, and lust. And I confirmed those to be true. And this has caused you to masturbate? Yes, yes. I I don't like such spirit. Yes, yes. I, I don't like that. And it's, it's a life that I don't want to, you know, I, I want uh, I want you a very stable. You stop it yourself. You do whatever you do to stop it. Yes, 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 yes. I, yes, yes. I, I have done anything, and I thank God. But he, there is one thing he said that left me speechless. Was he, he told me about my business that I used to have, and he told me that that business failed and he gave me reasons behind behind the reason why the business failed behind it and I come I didn't know honestly I didn't know but when he started saying the reasons I started recalling back and I confirm it to be true you remember you were very rich in the past Yes, I as I a young age you have money. Yeah, at young age I feel like I got it. It's down. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I feel like I got it. I mean I feel like I had it. But in and in, in, in at at point I slept in the scene, you know, I my foot you know slept in the scene. I, I don't in, understand. I said you are a rich person, you have money in the past. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm comfortable. I used to have money, very comfortable. Yeah. But now everything is down. At your I point. don't, I don't even have anything. I don't even have anything. I used to have my own basketball program here in the United States. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even, a, I'm not even a U.S. citizen. But everything that I've done, people that is that is from here, the U.S. citizen, they work in my organization, they work in my program. And, and they work under you. They, yeah, they work under me. And my partners are multi, my partners are multi-millionaires. But yeah, just... let me tell you something. Your problems start from when that get entered your life. Yes, yeah, as soon as you know. But oh, that's how... she's, the she's not a witch. But yeah, the evil spirit that possesses her. If you notice, in the middle of the night, she just stand up. Yes. yes. It's okay. It's time to pray. He prayed for me. He delivered me from spiritual wives and spirit of lusts, weird dreams, and all that. He delivered me in the name of Jesus. And I was free. And after the prayer, it wasn't too long. He reached out back to me. And he introduced me to the living water and he sent it to me. And then he also gave me the anointed sticker and asked me to always pray with it. But there is one other powerful spiritual item that he gave me that when I started using it, there was a change. Change started happening in my life was the precious commodity. The, he gave me the precious commodity, which is the cross, and I choose to hang it in my faith bracelet because I really want to have in contact with the uh, precious commodity and he asked me to always use it wherever I'm going whether I'm in the house whether I'm going out whether I'm sleeping always have it on have it on and I told him okay and I started applying 
all the spiritual items given to me according to the instruction they gave me. Viewers, as soon as I start using the precious commodity and the anointed water, I started seeing changes in my life. First, the nightmare ceased immediately. I stopped seeing the spiritual wife. I stopped seeing the wet dreams. Setbacks ceased. Rejection ceased. Disappointment ceased instantly. They were all just cutting off, off one after the other. I started seeing changes in my life. Plus other inner sicknesses that I probably don't know about. They're all gone for the glory of God. And I thank you, man of God. And it's not only that. Man of God all followed up with me. He would call me time to time or message me. How are you doing? I hope you're praying. I would tell him yes. He would give me some days to fast. I try my best to fast and do the instructions that he gave me. In the name of Jesus. And also, it was not too long, viewers. I started experiencing breakthroughs in my life. When I say breakthroughs, I started receiving unmerited favor, unmerited blessings started locating me. <laughs> and one of the blessings, unmerited blessings that I received after he has prayed for me was... Me giving almost hundred thousand dollars to add up for my business, and I put that money towards my business, and also it wasn't too long. I have a business partner, or my business partner called me. I think it's time for us to start up our own, our own company, company, company. And I told him, okay, how are we going to do that? He told me his idea. I said, okay. And now it comes down how we don't have, the, we don't have enough money to be able to carry on the vision. And I reached out to Man of God and I told him, Man of God, can you pray for me and my business partner? Even though I didn't tell him what we are trying to do, but I just asked him, pray for us. He said, yeah, of course I'll pray for you guys. And I connected my business partner. We went three-way calls, viewers. He prayed for us and told us to watch and see. Just watch and see. And I believe it. And my business partner believed it. And then after the prayer, it was about two, three, four days. My business partner reached out to me and said, Hey, I, I mean, I find this company and they normally found people, you know, to start up their business, you know, company or whatever. But before they can give you money or anything, they want to make sure they want to trust your skills, what you can do. You know, they want to you know, believe your, your vision and your skills. You know, I said, yeah, of course we, we can, what do we need to do? He told me we need to take a test. If we pass the test, then the test is, you take it twice. And the first test, we, we, the first test was for $200,000. We asked for $200,000 if we pass the test. And I told him, of course, we we're going to take the test. And we took the test, the first phase, and we passed it. We prayed. And the second phase, we passed it. Now, there is two forms that we requested. One for $200,000 and the second one is for $100,000. And the first test actually took it uh, in my name, with my name, not the, our company name, but I took it with my name. So this text was taken, you can see it, the certificate came with my name, you know, Fidelis one four. This, this, this is the certificate that showed that I passed the test and the money was wired to us. Also, uh, 
also the second one also come with my name you can see it guys so come with my name so that is it and the hundred thousand dollars was also wired to us if i was permitted to show the more evidences i would love to but this is as much as i can um, show you viewers uh proof of the fund that was released to us to run our company and i thank god for his blessings and his mercy and you know for reaching out to me through his able servant prophet paul david you know and it's not only that when um i you know if you know me you know i i mean i usually have eye inches like my eye would be inching me and you know i i, I couldn't stare at the screen for a long time because i'm always on the system i couldn't you know stare for so long you know i i would start feeling i mean everything would start look kind of blurry but one time i was praying and you know the holy spirit told me why can't you why not apply the money water in your eyes what? i was like what and i snatched it immediately and i applied it on my eyes i was praying i was in the middle of praying and i snatched it and i applied it on my eyes you know in the name of jesus in the blood of jesus and i applied them immediately it went to my eyes it was very cold and chewed in my eyes inside my eyes and just before i finished praying i started feeling sleepy i fall asleep and when i slept i slept the next morning viewers people of god when i woke up I, I'm, I'm still feeling drowsy i went back to sleep again and i when i slept and i woke up my eyes was clear i could see things pure i mean i could look at the lights for as long as i want to look at it I wanna, and my eyes was you know clean and i thank god for that there is so many testimonies so much testimonies for me to share with you but some of them are the things that God is doing that I could not see. This was just few of the things that I can see that God is doing in my life. I'm here to share with you, viewers, what God has done for me through his able servant, Paul David. I'm also here to share with you what God Almighty has been doing for me that I cannot see with my natural eyes. How he has been saving me from dangers, troubles that could have landed me to the hospital, but he saved me. How he has saved me from the problems that could have landed me to the grave, but he saved me, but I don't know that. How God has saved me from problems and troubles, so, you know, anything that could have taken me to prison, but God saved me. But I don't know. I didn't see it. But he did. Before it happened, God saved me. I'm here. It's happening there. Before I get there, it's over. God saved me. God saved me from a lot of things that I could not even see. And those things that God has been saved me from are even bigger than the things that I can see. And I'm here today, people of God, to appreciate God, asking you, to appreciate God with me. Thank God for my life, for everything he has been doing for me. I'm here to give God all the honor and all the praise and all the adoration belongs to God Almighty. And I want also thank God for keeping me alive today, carrying me through the year of 2022 and cross me over to this year, 2023 the year of milk and honey, the year that God has promised to turn everything around me and around you, viewers, to milk and honey. Your problems will be over. In this 2023, is his promise through his able servant, Paul David. God promised us. My business will be sweet as milk and honey. Already, it's happening. My life will be sweet as milk and honey. My destiny, my future, my family will be sweet as milk and honey. I believe it. Because
because the evidences are clear. It's there. It's happening. Life. And just like our Father in the Lord, prophets, T.B. Joshua, blessed memory, he usually tells us, the good is not enough, but the best is yet to come. So, and that is what is happening. My life is already sweet as milk and honey, but that is good. But the best is on the way. And when it's, the more is coming, the more I'll be coming to share my testimony with you, viewers. What is my promise to God? My promise to God is to live my life for Him and stay away from sin. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to stay away from sins. Because I have no power of my own. And that is why I always give everything up to the Holy Spirit to help me. I will do my part. Because we have rules to play. It's not up to you. Certainly it's not up to God. It takes two of, of you to make it happen. And that is why I ask the Holy Spirit to help me to play my parts. Because I do not want this year, the year that God has promised us that our life will be sweet as milk and honey, to pass me by. And that's why I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to play my parts. What is my part? To live my life for God and stay away from sin and ungodly things. Stay away from it. Don't go places where God, Jesus, are not welcomed. I remember when God, whenever He called me, He would advise me, tell me, you know, things about God. Don't stay away from sin. Don't do this. Don't do that. Things that don't please God. And that is what I'm bringing to you, viewers. I'm bringing back the word of men of God, Prophet Paul David, to you. And advising you, viewers, you that is watching me, listening to my testimony, your testimony is right in your door. Your testimony is next to you. Your testimony is right in your lips. It's already done. But stay away. Just as man of God always said, stay away from sin. Sin is our enemy. Stay away from it. If you stay away from it, this year that God has promised us through his able servant, Paul David, your life will be sweet as milk and honey. Just like my life will be sweet. Your life will be sweet as milk and honey. He always call upon me and check on me and make sure that I'm not missing the mark. Thank you, man of God, for always doing that. For always praying for us. Thank you. I pray that the anointing that is upon you will continue increasing and with speed it will increase each day by day. The anointing of God that is on you will increase more so that God will continue using you to reach out to people like myself. Because I remember when you met me, I was in the dark, man of God. But God used you to bring lights into my life and drive away darknesses that is around me. And I want to thank you. I was in the deep. God used the man of God. viewers, my life is a life of testimony. And that is why I can sit here and tell you what the Lord has been doing in my life. And I will never get tired of saying it. I thank you, Jesus. So, viewers, my advice continues for you. Always trust God. Always believe in God. Whatever, whatever that comes from an anointed man of God and a true man of God, I 
and across to you. Whatever exchange, whatever spiritual exchange that comes from a man of God to you, do not take it for granted. Like I said, it's not all up to you. Satan is not up to God, but two of you make it happen. And all you need is the currency, which is faith. Heavenly, for heavenly currency, faith. That's all you need. Believe. When you do, you will see your life will not remain the same. It will be sweet as milk and honey, just as the man of God told us. Anything that we're giving to you from a man of God, from any man of God, true man of God, do not take it for granted. Just believe that it's from God. Don't look at the person that is giving to you. Look, look at Jesus. It's from God. And when you do, when you start looking beyond the person that gave you and start looking where it's coming from, that's faith. Your life will never remain the same. Believe in God. Stay away from ungodly things, from sin, because sin is our enemy. Just like the man of God always say, Prophet Paul David, thank you, man of God. Stay away from sin. Today I'm very happy for what God has done for me. And that's why I want to talk to you as well, viewers, so that your life will be sweet as milk and honey. Thank you, man of God, for everything that you have been doing for me, praying for me, and carrying me along and helping my spiritual life and my relationship with God to grow stronger. Thank you. Indeed, my life never remained the same after I met you, Manaka, Prophet Paul David. And I thank you for always checking up and all that you have done. God bless you. Viewers, God bless you. As you listen to my testimony, your testimony will not escape you. Your testimony is next to you. When it's time for a blessing that will bring a testimony in your life, it will not escape you in the name of Jesus. Your blessing will locate you in the right time, in the right place, just as He located me. And you will share your own testimony as you listen to my testimony. Your testimony will locate you in the name of Jesus. God bless you, viewers. Thank you for listening to my testimony. All glory and honor to God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Thank you, the God of Paul David. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shalom.